Well, we used to call them eggheads or chrome domes or nude noggins, and now they're as mad as hell and they are not going to take it anymore. Melbourne's League of Bald-Headed Men is fighting for hairless rights, urging men not to fear being follically challenged. Nick McCallum met the men behind Bald Power. Be bold, be proud. <laughs> We'll push the cause and put it in people's faces if we have to. They're fighting prejudice against pristine pates. They're the League of Bald-Headed Men. No hair, yeah, yeah. No they protest outside hair restoration companies. They have ceremonial shavings. You know, Joe, will be a happening thing. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Band up. No problems. And they have bald ballads. I know I'm going really bald, but I like it, like it. Yes, I do. Well, I like it is, of course, all tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a serious message, according to league founder Steve Espenshee. Are there many people still around that have self-esteem problems about turning bald? Oh, definitely. It's the reason the, the, the hair restoration industry exists and what it feeds off. It feeds off our paranoias and our vulnerabilities and says, well, look, you're going to look like an absolute loser and a dud in a bar with a whole lot of beautiful women if you haven't got hair, which we're saying is not the case. All we are saying is yeah. give bald a chance. Their demonstrations, seemingly a bit of fun, can turn, well, hairy. Last Christmas, a hair studio owner threatened to hit Steve. We faced up in the middle of the intersection, the CEO of this uh, hair studio, and I suddenly realised, hang on, it's uh, 35 degrees and I'm in a Santa costume with a fat, fat gut and a bald head. Just because they look like golf balls does not mean they can hit them. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'll pick it up when I'm <laughs> At their bald golf day, the radicals determined to cut relations with the haired world. So, Bill, is bald beautiful? Go away, you hairy old thing. <laughs> Sorry, don't talk to people with hair. So, Dennis, is bald really oh, beautiful? Go and have a haircut. The only way to get an answer to that simple question, go undercover, literally. So, Bill, mm. is bald beautiful? Ah. Oh. It is beautiful, I can see you are beautiful already. Mwah! <laughs> Long, beautiful hair, shiny, beaming, steaming, flaxen, waxen. Save a lot on shampoo and conditioner and things like that, which are pretty expensive. Hey, mama, everywhere, daddy, daddy, hey, 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 always, always come up to you and say, can I touch your head? And it looks nice. <laughs> and really? I feel it all, all the time. Yeah, it's quite good. <laughs> They raise money for Canteen, the charity for kids suffering from cancer whose treatment often leaves them bald. This is all about being and laughing at yourself. You've got to be proud of being bald because that's who you are. Why, why cover up something and pretend to be something you're not? Improvement? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. You'll go away from here, life will be totally different. You'll really enjoy yourself. You'll pick up a bald-headed man without any trouble at all. <laughs> Can you see that this bald man loves his it's grown dog? Go, you bald man! <laughs> Watch out, Greg Matthews. They're coming to get him. I don't think Nick McCallum is naturally bald No, he didn't. he didn't look good, did he? Hey, I think that bald-headed bald head shake might catch on. What do you reckon? Look at that. Oh, I love it. Do you feel bonded with me? I do. Well, I have for a long time. <laughs> I feel much closer already.